Meet the People Pleasers. That's the best way to describe the all-new satellites for 1971, because satellite has more people-pleasing models and features than ever before. Buyer choices begin with wheelbase. Two-door models have a 115-inch wheelbase, with four doors and station wagons having a 117-inch wheelbase. It's like having two separate lines of satellites for 1971. Why? First, there are basically two kinds of customer. The family man who wants a sedan and all its practical convenience, and there is the person who wants the sleek, racy styling of a sports-type car. We'll begin with the all-new sedans, long preferred for six-passenger comfort and flexibility. This is the all-new 1971 Satellite Brome four-door, the new top-of-the-line family favorite. Two other sedan models besides this Brome include the Satellite Custom and the Satellite. Sedans and the new station wagons gain strong horizontal emphasis with this new grille, protected from below by the massive bumper. Huge taillights are recessed within the rear bumper with inboard backup lights. The whole effect is simplicity combined with strength. Now, for the man who likes hardtop styling, let's see the most exciting line of cars in America today. The all-new hardtops on the highly maneuverable 115-inch wheelbase. This is the all-new 1971 Roadrunner two-door hardtop. Here's the new generation of trophy winners. Other models featuring the dramatic new aerodynamic shape are the Satellite Sebring Plus, the Satellite Sebring, and the great new luxurious GTX. For price-minded buyers, there is also a two-door coupe with the same hardtop styling, the Satellite. The new profile is distinctively unique. The long, sleek, powerful hood with clipped rear deck. The look of motion, speed, performance gained by having two separate roof lines. One for hardtops and one for sedans. Moving closer, the loop bumper on two-door models completely surrounds the handsome grille with parking lights and turn signal lights flanking the license plate. And the rear track has been widened to 62 inches on V8s for improved stability and handling. The track on wagons is even wider, 63.4 inches. New on all two-door and four-door models, Concealed windshield wipers for better visibility. With ventless side glass on all models, another aid to visibility, and the clean look. New recessed door handles on two doors and four doors add to convenience and overall styling beauty. Let's have a recap of the new models and then get into more of the details. In two doors on the 115-inch wheelbase, there's the GTX, Roadrunner, Satellite Sebring Plus, Satellite Sebring as hardtops, with Satellite as the only two-door coupe in the line. Four-door models on the 117-inch wheelbase include Satellite Brome and Satellite Regent, Satellite Custom and Satellite. Satellite Sebring and Satellite Custom have this new instrument panel highlighted by the wood-grained vinyl insert. On satellite models, decorative anodized aluminum replaces the vinyl. This special new performance-styled rally instrument panel appears on GTX, Roadrunner, Satellite Sebring Plus, Satellite Brome, and Satellite Regent. A full set of gauges and 150 mile per hour speedometer are standard. The clock and tachometer are optional. The controls for fresh air ventilation are relocated in the center of the panel. There's a new high-level strato ventilation system as an option, using the same center outlets as the air conditioning system. Heater blower can be used to increase the volume of incoming fresh air, most welcome in stop-and-go traffic. A new convenience, tilt steering wheel is optional, and the wheel features rim blow horn as another advantage. An exclusive option is this cassette stereo tape player and recorder. There's almost an hour of your favorite music from each compact cassette. Or you can record direct from the radio on inexpensive blank tapes. In addition, an optional microphone allows you to record your own voice monorally. On-the-spot commentaries, memos, or ideas you don't want to forget. Here's an option with sure-fire appeal for GTX, Sebring Plus, and Roadrunner customers. The new elastomeric bumper in six matching body colors. Two more performance car options, 
the new louvered backlight, and a spoiler for front and rear. Both options available on GTX and Roadrunner. An option that combines the best of open and closed bodies, the new sunroof. Available on all two-door hardtops with vinyl roof. The new shape is deceptive because under that short-looking rear deck, more than 14.2 cubic feet of carrying capacity. An option adding a sporty look as well as utility. This new luggage rack that's available on two-door models, but not with the rear deck spoiler, of course. The new sedans have more than 14 cubic feet of trunk capacity. And to add to traveling convenience, the fuel tank now holds 21 gallons, which is three more than last year. Adding to the traveler's pleasure, torsion bar front suspension, the steadiest, stablest ride there is over every kind of road surface. Working in harmony with the torsion bars, wide-spaced rear leaf springs. The combination gives remarkable control in every driving situation. Just as important to passenger comfort, all welded unibody construction. Unibody's tremendous advantages over body frame construction include lighter weight, better structural efficiency, less flexibility, more rear floor foot room, greater endurance, less shake, and superior welds. A security option for 1971. New inside hood release that can save the owner a battery or high performance engine parts if he parks in the open. Another standard security feature is keyless door locking. Just push down the button and close the door. The ignition key warning buzzer makes sure you don't lock the keys in the car. No more excuses for not locking the car. The Roadrunner 383 cubic inch engine has been modified to operate on regular fuel. Roadrunner's lower horsepower and heavier weight should be good news to those concerned with insurance rates. The 225 cubic inch 145 horsepower is the standard six. The 318 V8 at 230 horsepower is the standard V8 on all except the Roadrunner and GTX. Optional engines include the famous Hemi at 425 horsepower, the 446 barrel at 385 horsepower, the four barrel version, which is standard on GTX at 370 horsepower, the 383 four barrel at 300 horsepower, the 383 two barrel at 275 horsepower, and optional on the Roadrunner, the 340 at 275 horsepower. Also new and improved for 1971, the emissions control system, including this vapor saver. In transmissions, torque flight is standard on GTX, optional on other models. Four-speed manual is standard on Roadrunner, with three-speed manual standard on all others. Torque flight now has part throttle kickdown with all engines for easier passing with less strain on the engine and greater fuel economy. Another big story for 1971 is three all-new station wagons. See how neatly a four by eight foot panel fits in an intermediate size wagon with the tailgate closed. Satellite is now the largest station wagon in its class. And don't forget, now there's room in the wheel housings for storage compartments, just like Fury. And room as well for a rear speaker. And you can open the three-way tailgate as a door, whether the glass is up or down. Glass must be down, however, to drop the door for carrying large loads. And it's hard top glass that fits against a seal instead of riding in a track. Here's a unique Chrysler Corporation station wagon safety exclusive, auto lock. With ignition on, children can't lift the tailgate lock button from inside unless the driver depresses a special override button under the instrument panel. But the driver can press a button on the instrument panel and then the tailgate lock button can be raised and unlocked easily. This safety for third seat passenger is standard on the three seater, optional on the two seater. This optional roof-mounted air deflector directs air down and across the rear window, keeping dirt, snow, and rain off the glass. For 1971, Satellite promises to be the car to watch. For function and for beauty in a sedan designed expressly for family needs, the Satellite four doors are hard to beat in 1971. And in the growing market for sleek personal performance cars, who can challenge Satellite two doors? When it comes to action, remember the trophies are held by Roadrunner owners. 
For 1971, just about everyone looking for a really new car will find something he likes in the all-new satellite lineup. Chrysler, Plymouth, Chrysler, Plymouth. 